This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' home care. Elementary school. Good afternoon. I feel like we're playing as a different person now. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? We're in a store. This is such a weird feeling, such a weird concept. I actually just got done with a class that talked about uh, post-humanism and the concept of this actually being a reality one day. It was all really interesting and fascinating, and it just made me want to play this game even more. I assume we can't really do anything. We just have to wait. The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. Yeah, right back There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back and working. I don't want him to be my owner. He's creepy looking. Really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, uh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400. Register your name. Kara. Oh my god! My name is Kara. Hi. Okay, I had a feeling. And oh hey! Title sequence that we already had like earlier in the game. And my god, is this even graphics? That's a sentence, but. Alright, I. Whatever you say about these games, like, you could like them or hate them or whatever, but you have to acknowledge just how stinking incredible these graphics look. When going back and watching the car trailer, I remember thinking that was as good as it was ever going to get. I could not comprehend games looking better than what that showed us. And that's just sort of the fascinating thing about it is that with animation and just uh, video games in general, like, you cannot really truly visualize how things could get better because it doesn't exist. You have to create something entirely new. You have to develop something with unknown technology and it ends up advancing ways that you could not imagine because like there's nothing to base it off of it's only through your imagination and your determination and when looking at the car trailer now it pales in comparison to what I'm looking at right here and it's sinking incredible just how much progress is being made and the fact that in the future this will be obsolete somehow, this will be seen as inferior, but I definitely don't think that time makes things look bad. I still appreciate uh, how games look, I don't think things look bad just because newer things come out later on that makes them look better or cooler, but it's just really cool to see how much progress we've made. And I'm excited to see where we'll go in the future. Oh my god, do I get to play as the pigeon? Oh, is this the- I think this is the other playable character. You're the box art dude. My biggest complaint about the game so far is the stinking box art. Like, stinking- look at this thing! It looks dumb. <laughs> I wanted to- Kara, like, since she was, like, the center point of this entire thing- Oh, can I sit with you? Can I just hang out? Oh no, I just read it. Uh, since Kara was, like, the center point of this thing from the beginning, I wish she was the- on the cover of the, uh, box, but no, it's just this stinking dude, whoever he is. Secret of the Androids. Uh, page one. Uh, how do I read it? It's not letting me read it. Uh, hello? It won't let me do a thing. Is that a glitch? I remember in Heavy Rain, I had a glitch, like, right at the beginning of the game that made it so I wasn't allowed to examine anything else, like, in the house, so it just wouldn't let me progress, it wouldn't let me go downstairs, and I just had to reset the game. It says next. Can I read it or no? It just says page one, down. It won't let me do anything. I guess I don't get to read today. So sad. Hi. I can't put it away either. Like, it's just littering all over the place. It looks like I'm uh, supposed to be cleaning the place. I don't know. It looks like park security. I don't even know. 
Uh, these guys just have a nice little jogging time. I could tell who the androids are because of the uniforms, I assume. See so yeah, how we're park workers, I suppose. Uh, retrieve order at Bellany Paints. Go to Bellany Paints shop. So that's my objective, but it's not this way. Okay. I just assume it's a much less pressing matter than uh, trying to save someone's life. Uh, we can't talk to anyone. I want to have a nice little friendly conversation. Plastic guineas, that's not nice. Wait for green light. This is so realistic. Wow, they really want us to wait for that green light. Is there a button I could press to go have it go quicker? I don't think so. Uh, hello. L1. Ban androids, run our country, we want jobs. Now I feel bad. Yeah, like, there's a big old sinking, there's a lot of sinking controversy be behind the concept of post-humanism, so... I'm gonna try to stay away from controversial topics. Uh, I'll just say that I would, I would like to see a world where robots roam the Earth as, like, equals to humans, cause... Why the heck not? That's like the basis of my argument, just like life is more interesting that way. And there are certainly like a lot more jobs that have gotten created because of robots. So I don't think it's entirely true that robots would take jobs away from people. There's still the people who have to design the robots in the first place, like there's just different jobs available. And uh, maybe the robots we're creating, we should create them in a way that makes it so people don't need jobs. Not just they don't want them, they don't need them. So we should create equal opportunities for everyone and that robots could provide for everyone. That's my theory and my wish. But whatever, I know life is not that easy, I know the world's a piece of crud and we can't have anything good happen at all, but <laughs> we'll just enjoy this video game. Press R2 to use a GPS. I, no, I was using the GPS. I like it's called a GPS. Uh, nothing to examine. I'm sure, like, it does, since this is an urgent matter, it's not going to tell us about any side things we could do. We probably just have to find them on our own, and I don't know why the screen is glitching. Uh, hello. Another homeless person. Uh, can we talk to him, maybe? This is supposed to be in base 7. Guess not. We really can't examine anything. We just have to walk. Huh. This fountain looks really stinking cool. Well, this isn't copyright. Just in case you are, I'm out of here. <laughs> Run away from the copyright! Oh my god, what the heck? Uh, flying little... Of androids, not the other android, the android that actually exists. Uh, no, it's a drone, that's what it's called. Building your paints is not this way. Fine, I'll go get your paints. I wish I could have just like one conversation with anybody. I'm just so lonely. Uh, let's see, where could we go? James and Carter is at the well, no, really. Bellany Paint Shop. Uh, oh, you can come in different colors of uh, outfits. We got green and pink. Without That's cool. Uh, what are you talking about? God will not let this happen. No, he will not allow his creation to be led astray by these these artificial demons. Why do you look at me so demon? Because I, I had an you. option to. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit! <laughs> I was just waiting for it to like, shed like a single tear. I don't know, like, it's so weird that they're just emotionless, so... I'm wondering how this game will make us care about the characters we play as. Because I'm pretty sure the three we've already experienced are the only ones that we play as. We play as Kara, Connor, and whoever this guy is. Uh, hmm. Got anything else around here we could examine? Let's just keep on going down there. 
But yeah, obviously there's going to be a lot of singing controversy things. Hopefully that this LP doesn't become too heated in the comment section. I'm I'm banking on my low viewership to prevent that. Like, that's something I actually enjoy about just having low viewership is that I could actually be in control of uh, trolls and just uh, fighting and stuff. Thankfully that doesn't have that doesn't happen all that much uh, on my channel, but whenever there's like something that's about to start, I'm able to stop it quickly and I feel like every small LP or should uh, be doing that and just taking advantage of the fact that you can manage your uh, viewership and your fan base because um, it's not nice, it's not a good thing to just let that run astray. Like uh, bigger creators have the excuse of just like they can't see and manage everything, but if you can manage everything, just make sure everyone's having a good time because that's important. Uh, I assume there's like nothing else. Ooh, there was a examiny thing over here. Oh no, that's Bellany Paints. Lame progress. I don't want progress. I want to run around and do a bunch of nonsense for who knows how long. I wish I could donate money. I assume I don't have any money. I'm just like I'm a robot. I don't have money. I just do and as I'm told. But I wish I could just give money to some of these people because I feel horrible. That there's so many of them. Uh, fine, we'll just go into the Bellany Paints collect package. Oh, oh, excuse me, gotta do a turning animation on the control stick. It's immersive. Ooh, can we get a different uh, colored outfit in here? I like how that's what I'm thinking about. Like, oh, what are the robots gonna do? Are they gonna take over the world? What's the whole uh, plot behind this incredible game? Ooh, what color can my outfit be? That's what I'm concerned about. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be $63.99. Please confirm payment. Please have the money come out of my mouth. Obviously, we're gonna pay. Payment confirmed. Oh, that's lame. I want like money to come out of my mouth like a printing receipt or something. So the money is inside of us, that's why we can't donate to humans, because we don't have any physical money with us. Uh, is it okay if I just uh, hang out around your shop for now? I assume it's going to change later on, but just, uh, it's weird having so many emotionless doll characters, so I'm interested to see how the game is going to make us care about people. That's sort of the things that these characters are going to change, and they are going to become human. Yeah, I want to, but I don't know if it'll let me. R1 to switch camera. Thank you, jeez. I could do that over and over. But I want to donate to him if I can. Won't let me. Bus stop is not this way. Fine. Uh, this is a charging station? Temporary parking? That's, that's, oh god. Oh god. Uh, hello? Um. Sir? Ma'am? I'm not supposed to be here. I'm a main character! Am I seriously stuck? Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, like, what the heck? Well, that just happened. I'm glad I wasn't stuck there forever, that was gonna be, like, amazing, like, I should be a beta tester or something like that for this game, but... Uh, oh, Smith White, I thought it said Sean and White, I was like, oh my god, Sean, it's a reference! No. Oh my god, that was thinking weird, I got stuck there. Oh, I'm gonna find so much amusement out of, like, the stupidest of things that shouldn't even be happening. Uh, is there anything else we should be doing? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, uh, hey, there's a thing we could examine. Or is that the guitar dude again? Uh, nothing from what I could see. I think that is just the bus stop or something. I don't see. This will probably end at some point, so I'll just talk over it in case of its copyright. Just out of this cool little guitar dude with a little mustache. Human music. One dollar to hear music with soul. So, of course, they're still, like, insulting the robots in some way. Probably doesn't want me to be listening. Is there possibly, like, something the lyrics I say is like, Robots are evil, we should kill them all. I wish I could push them in this fountain, but it's waterproof, so it won't really matter. That's my interpretation of whatever he was singing. Let's keep on going. And let's see if we can make the crosswalk. I wish there was a run button. Oh, come on. I was so close. Wait, bus stop, not this way. 
Oh, we're not going back to the park? We're going to a bus stop. We're taking the bus home. Okay. So we're gonna go this way. Not end up in your sinking parking. This is so sinking weird temporary parking thing where they just stand there. Uh, let's see. Uh, this guy looks frozen in time. Hello, sir. Is he charging? Is like, is there a cord coming out of his butt? No. Also, the D's make me think we're at Disneyland every time I see him. Uh, can we get a wiener? I want to sing a uh, holographic wiener. Uh, everyone's fighting. Everyone hates me. Uh, hello, friend. You going, Tin Can? No kidding. What are you doing? Hey, guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Uh. Can't we just be friends? Oh, now I'm sad on the floor. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. L1. Well, you won't let me stand up. Let's try again. X. Gotta tap, tap, tap. Gotta get used to that button combat. Do it. All right, it's enough. Leave it alone. Oh, it's turning Let's yellow. Teach this bastard a lesson. The damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. Oh, I went red for like a split second. Okay. Let's go. I don't want. Is that like a distress signal, or is that a? He was about to fight back signal or something. I have no idea what that means. Like, I was calling for help because I was being damaged or something, or it meant he was holding back the urge to fight or something. Uh, can't go in here. I can't do anything around here. All I can do is get yelled at by angry speech people and then get beat up by a bunch of protesters. I'm just gonna come back here. Oh, it won't let me. I was gonna rub my robotic face in their flesh sacks. <laughs> that sounds really weird. Uh, is that the bus stop? I think it might be. There's the bus stop right there, but there's something over there that I could examine, I thought. Wait, no, they're just doing that. No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna go in the parallel parking yet. I wanna see if there's anything else I could do. Uh, we just got a bunch more. Androids for advertisements. So weird. These are people. Like, these are the androids. They're just staying here. It's just such a weird concept. The thing is, like, if we ever did reach a world that had robots in it that were equal to humans, I would want them to be treated as equal to humans. Because, I don't know. The concept here is that they don't care being treated as something less, but eventually they might or they do. And, like, how can you deny them of that? of the desire for free will. I really wanted a stinking holographic wiener. Just weird, it's called the Android Compartment. And I guess that's it. <laughs> it's a tw that's a 20 minute episode. I have no idea how long. My name is Marcus. Marcus took the bus. Could I have not taken the bus? Uh, I'm going to be questioning everything I do in this game, but I don't know how long this, this LP is going to be. I don't know if every episode is just going to be one segment. I know this is sort of my fault for just derping around a bunch in this one, but for now, I'm just gonna play it safe and end this episode off here.